Well, good morning. It's day two of the Motorhome and Campervan Show at Peterborough. Here we are, day two of the uh, National Motorhome and Campervan Show at the East of England Showground in Peterborough. And uh, we were here yesterday, it was a warmer day yesterday, the wind has got up and Storm Hannah has decided to come upon us. Fortunately, it's still dry, so we're hoping that we can have a nice day looking around motorhomes and uh, campervans again. And today is Ladies' Day. Well, it is for us, uh, both Sue and Sheila have come along with me today and uh, they're currently over in one of the barns and I just noticed they're looking at handbags. So uh, there are a few distractions here at the Motorhome Show. Uh, thank goodness. So uh, there's plenty to do. Well, I've been tasked with looking for a motorhome on a smaller budget today. I'm gonna look at this uh, two-year-old Eldis at uh, 38,000 pounds, still an awful lot of money. But let's go and see what it offers. Rear kitchen to start with. This is going to be an under three and a half ton van, two berth, and a little step up into the lounge. Got a nice sunroof on the front there. It's a Peugeot. A manual gearbox on the Peugeot, as we all know from previously. That's not me, set the alarm off. Nice sunroof and uh, nice positive lockers here with uh, stay shut mechanism. You see the kitchen, there's a microwave just on the top above here. And to the left in the corner here we have a corner washroom. No window in the washroom. Storage above. The loo, except for toilet. And a little bowl type sink, mirror and shower. So clearly a wet room. Requires a, uh, a curtain, shower curtain, to uh, keep the water from coming in from the uh, onto the door here which I've just closed. Nice big wardrobe, look at the size of that. Plenty of storage space in the wardrobe there. And that's where the table was kept in there. So uh, quite a nice van, uh, lovely and clean, hardly used by the look of it. Lots more storage along here. And somewhere for your TV on the table here. And uh, more storage below. But, uh, Catches and drawers there. Very nice indeed. Ah, matching pair. What are you found then, girls? Some for the garden. Sheila's bought a handbag. And Sue's fell in love with a minor bird. Is that a minor bird or a crow? Yeah, you look like you might be a minor bird to me. Oh. Could be a crow, couldn't he? So you're coming out of the wind, don't we? Okay, this one's tucked away. Not many people have seen this one. It's tucked away in the back of a someone's stand here. Um, it's a Bailey ad, Approach Advance. Looking at £37,000 for this one. It's uh, a 2016, so it's three years old. 
and uh, quite a good size van this one getting a good bit of van for your money two owners uh, 14,000 miles on the clock and uh, it's got a French bed arrangement let's go and have a little look inside uh, there's no door in the uh, the window in the door on this one it's on a low on the ultra low chassis on the Alco ultra low chassis um, and this model doesn't have the over cab sunroof but of course you you're in the um, uh, entry level van really here which uh, still has all the comforts of home lovely big lounge this end not bad little decor and uh, little flap to extend the kitchen which is a, an L shape don't forget there's a step down and there often is a step down between the lounge and the uh, bedroom or kitchen area it's a nice little kitchen here we've got the uh, normal stainless steel sink and then a little triangular shape three burner hob very adequate and then a, a combination oven and grill below so quite compact nice big um, corner bed now there is a cut off with this uh, bed so uh, you do have to sleep with your feet together a little bit there um, but still good width at the top end of the bed and then the table is stored in the wardrobe hanging space and below we've got a standard fridge here with a freezer box inside all work on a combination of 12 volt to 30 volt mains of course and color uh, LPG okay let's have a quick look in the washroom the only bit we haven't looked at yet the washroom is quite nice separate shower in this um, no big pardon it's a, it is a wet room it is a wet room so we've got uh, the corner area made up with shower and toilet with a curtain in between and a little step up into here just mentioned the step up didn't I um, a door that a two uh, two piece sliding door here and uh, clearly they've put a little this is a an add-on um, little chest of drawers that are put in there the previous owner for more storage and uh, a little sink and mirrors two mirrors with the pre-owned vans you often do get little um, amendments and adjustments to the vans you often get extra plate racks and things like that oh and look at that look we'd never known that was there had I not opened the cupboard a microwave and that could well have been a retro or, or an, uh, an after uh, fit um, looks like it could have been a retro fit uh, microwave which is absolutely fine so there we go take another quick look at it from the outside very clean van like I say tucked away at the back here no no much has been inside there I don't think but that's uh, got the canopy on the side everything you need when you're out motorhoming well here's something a little different Aroma home. Now I've never been in one of these. It's a 2013 Citroen and uh, it commands a fair price here of uh, £30,000 on the ticket. Um, let's have a little look. This is a new one for me as I say. Now inside the cab here we could be getting into a normal standard car or van. Uh, very similar to your, your normal car manual gearbox all the controls in the usual place and uh, you would drive no doubt like a normal car let's have a little look around the back here and already we can see access to the uh, habitation area is through the back door which has got glazing in it and then to the rear of the van 
Got a little kitchen with, uh, let's have a look, see how many, yeah, two burner hob. A little uh, combination grill and oven, and below that, a combination fridge which will work on the 230 mains, caller, and also uh, 12 volt. And then to the near side of the van, we've got the other part of the kitchen which has a little sink. And then below that, usual uh, drawer and storage below as well. Let's hop inside and see if we can stand up. And indeed we can. This little pop-up roof is angled so you can see the uh, back here is where I'm standing just next to the kitchen. Here's the tallest part and then as you move into the lounge the roof is lower at the front and uh, looks like the table is stored just under the roof there above the cab and uh, I would imagine that this makes up either two singles or a double bunk for two so it's a two berth but as we come through into the van you can see we're right into the cab again here now and I'm sitting down enjoying my little camper van which is really no bigger than a standard car just maybe a little a fraction longer but certainly the old Volvo that I used to drive in you know 240 the state car would be about a similar length to this so what a treat this is a first for me like I say and uh, got all of the uh, things you expect in a, in a caravan or a camper with fly screens and blinds opening side windows for ventilation and also the pop-up of course you don't need to have the pop-up um, extended you can actually if you want to in winter months leave the pop-up closed and there'll still be room to sit excellent let's just take a one more look from outside winding the step as we go out and winding your head quite a low door on the back there as you can see quite a neat little camper van and just next door to it like I say they all come in twos don't they an auto sleeper equivalent of what we've just looked at this one's 25,000 pounds a little cheaper this one but similar in size this one doesn't have a pop-up it has a uh, highline roof so uh, you would need to take that into consideration in car parks but uh, so a quick look inside nice glazed rear door nice and secure and uh, in fact it's the same layout this one looks like the benches are just a tad longer um, and there's also it looks like there's uh, storage over the cab at that end similar arrangement with the sink and storage below and the other side fridge and uh, and and a hob and at this point I don't see I don't see an oven but you no doubt could have one fitted in here and there's potential for a microwave over over the top here I would imagine as well but uh, nice big skylight sunroof in this one with it being a, a hard roof and no pop-up it does give you that little bit more warmth in the winter months and uh, it looks like this back end has a shower curtain so no doubt underneath here would be um, the porta potty that you slide out and you can use this area as either the shower or bathroom um, as well so uh, you've got everything for a bit of wild camping very good it's gonna go for a 10 year old Bolero nice looking van made by Swift and it's 10 years old it's a 2009 model and this uh, 
particular model the cab up one end as usual with a nice sunroof and as soon as you walk in you feel you can see the space down the other end um, we're inside the um, warehouse here inside the barn at the showground so they've got the lighting on for us but it's still quite the low lighting so don't let that uh, spoil the review but uh, behind us here we have the uh, washroom and there is a separate shower with a uh, we call a beam me up Scotty type door and a separate shower from the washroom there's a window in there for ventilation and uh, storage underneath the sink and a huge mirror and that is a really spacious washroom for a side washroom moving along this side we've got the uh, fridge freezer separate as you know from previous reviews these are my favorite when you can keep them separate rather than having more than one um, good sized fridge there with a salad tray in, in the bottom and uh, storage above and round behind me, we've got the uh, usual sink and uh, a dual fuel hob. Now, Boleros were always good at this. Um, they were always Swift are always up there with, uh, you know, the breaking edge um, equipment. They always put the equipment in these Boleros that uh, people demanded even nine years ago, and that has a a grill and oven as well storage under the sink there more storage here with trays that pull out and you can see you know nine-year-old van is uh, highly equipped um, and then your knives and forks and utensils in there but this van is for those that like the rear lounge um, this clearly makes up into a, a very good size double bed um, or you could have it as two singles and there are panoramic views there's a window here although it's against the wall of the barn outside um, your TV mount is here You've got storage all the way around the top and uh, and also a chest of drawers at this end with uh, a pull out table that table will flap out so you can actually use that as a dining area without using the main table which no doubt is stored in the wardrobe there'll be storage underneath these beds as well for uh, your chairs and other things for out outdoor use or your awning perhaps but the uh, as I say when you're parked up it's lovely to have these windows in three directions for those that like to sit in the cozy warm and watch the world go by from inside the motorhome and if I come right to the end of the unit, you can see this is quite a long van. Probably about seven and a half metres. We'll check that in just a moment. And uh, wardrobe space, which we didn't look at. And that's where the table's kept. And uh, storage below as well for shoes and things, I guess. And that opens up double, like so. So... So that's a 10 year old Bolero, still in fine condition. And here's what the van looks like from outside. You walk down a line of vans here, a Bessica at the beginning, an auto trail that was sold, a Chasson, Benoit. And an Eldis. An Eldis there, and this little one's a 12 plate. 30,000 pounds again. Uh, seems to be the kind of uh, money that they're asking for at this show. You need to come along with 30 grand. An auto trail. And many more along the back. £28,000. That's not a bad unit for its money. It's a good size van. Let's take a little look at that. The 
European van, the uh, door is on the off side. Habitation door, you can have a little look inside. There's an Adria, Adria Coral. Well, at least, if nothing else, I'm gonna get out of the wind. I was fighting with the door. Now Adria have been in the motorhome market for some time. Uh, over the cab bed, which is really handy for young children. I think it'll probably take an adult as well up there. Uh, over the cab. And then a nice, good sized dining area here for four people. Excellent. And uh, at the back, we've got double bunks. So I'd imagine the over cab bed is probably a twin or a double bed then. Um, let's have a look around. Sorry about the light. Again, we're uh, in quite a dark area of the field here. Um, washroom. There's a shower which uh, has a door, so it's an enclosed shower. Good size in there. And storage under the sink. Mirror to the right and a window and storage above. Very adequate bath, bathroom or washroom area. Uh, lockers above and there's a garage under the bank there I would think. Fridge and uh, a cupboard here with a TV mount that swings out so you can watch television from your dining lounge area. And then uh, hanging space to the centre of the van. An unusual layout. I haven't seen one like this one before. Uh, kitchen. A three burner hob, which is standard. And there is an. Uh, sometimes mm -hmm. they'll take. They will take this cupboard out and put an oven in here. A combination oven in here. Previous owners haven't done that with this van, but that would probably be what I would do. It's on a Fiat chassis, five speed gearbox, and uh, there you go, all lovely and clean. I have to say, doesn't look its age. It's been looked after. That's a car. We've <laughs> got a slim line fridge. Look, this is a. Oh, lovely. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. It's got the freezer bit inside it, look. Oh, okay. That's big enough for me. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I quite like this bit. Oh, oh, oh. Muscles are open out, I think. Isn't it? So you've got like a separate lounge there, which you obviously make it up into a bed, don't you? Yeah. Then you could leave it. Mm. You've got room down there to sit. You don't need this, do you? So, yeah. So you could have a lock, couldn't you? It's quite nice to lounge in. Okay. So do you like it enough to change Bertie for it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like this. Because I think that's nice like when you've it. got company. Yeah, I like this bit. But you nice. could make your bed up and leave it, couldn't you also? Yeah. And that's what I do. Oh, and you, you'd like it, Trev, because you've got all these windows. I love the windows. I do love the windows well, in a lounge. there's a drop-down bed over there, look. Yeah. Wow, so it's a six bed. So, yeah. yeah. It's got the, the kitchen gorgeous. in the middle. And uh, washroom, side washroom. But you have got a separate shower. A big wardrobe. Haven't you? It's got a little seat in the shower. And uh, a little... Yeah, that's where the wheel is, isn't it? That's where, where there's a little ah. seat there. That's, uh, you got, you got space for your, that's where the wheel cover. arch is. That's why you've got some. That's a cup of tea thing. I like the upholstery. That's nice, isn't it? And this end. you got four, two, four, six passengers. Well, Five passengers and a driver. <laughs> and it's got an automatic.
Have a look at that one. And this one we think is a new version of Bertie. So we're going to have a look in here. Yeah, yeah, identical. Yeah. That is the only so thing the only thing they have small, it? They have changed the tower rail is high up, but you, ours is here. Oh, is that? So yeah, so that's quite really, isn't it? Yeah, that, yeah. Know, and we've got two of these. Okay. So that's the only difference. And that light, that thing up there looked different. You ain't got that. You used to have it. Was it your caravan? You had a rail across. Was that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the same. The washroom's exactly the same. Yeah, it's nice. Apart from that one change. This, this is the, the mattress. Hanging space. Yeah, it's got a slidey door on the wardrobe. Yeah, it's the same as ours. It's lovely. Okay. That's the same mattress. See that, Sue? It's pretty much the same. Well, we haven't got one of those. We don't have an omni vent in ours, do we? We've got we? a normal vent like that. We've got we? a, yeah. And we haven't got the shelf. We don't have the shelf, no. Which I don't want anyway, because I'm going to put the water thing there. And your coffee maker. Yeah. But that's all I say, isn't it? Seats are nice fabric. I quite like the uh, yeah. the fabric on the seats is nicer yeah. than ours, I think. They've improved that. Um, curtains are much the same. And the uh, yeah, else. blind and fly screens, the same big, big opening window. Curtains are just shiny. And this one's a manual. It's different, they've upgraded it, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like it. That's, I think it is nicer than ours. Yeah. Well, that's the end of the motorhome and camper van show for us this year. We've had a really lovely couple of days. The wind today was a bit of a challenge but, uh, and it was chilly but uh, we managed to have a good look around the show again today. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, visit to Peterborough with us this time and if you have please do consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. We're out again in the motorhome on Friday of this week so uh, not long now and there'll be some more footage of uh, Bertie out and about and, uh, and I'll let you into a little secret, it's Kersey Mill in Suffolk. So uh, out into a local countryside for us, not more than about eight miles from home. We'll see you there. Bye for now.